Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm just right here at High Barnet on this Northern Line train. Last time we were out on the Northern Line, we were down at the other end visiting the new Battersea Power Station extension. But today I've come right to the other end of the Northern Line, High Barnet. You can see the line literally ends there. The reason we've actually come to High Barnet today, there isn't so much to look at trains, but for the Muswell Hill bus rally. So what we're going to do, it's a vintage bus rally. We're going to go out the station and we're going to ride some vintage buses around this area of North London, around Muswell Hill, go down to Finsbury Park. So it's going to be an exciting day. I see some exciting vintage buses. I might use the tube a bit in between just to get from one end of a route to another so I can maximise my bus riding. So come out here, out the station. We're going to go up that long slope up to Barnet Town Centre. So, um, and that is where I believe the buses will be found. So I can out the station now, take off my face covering. I'm going to go to the top of this slope and find a vintage bus. So as I came out of the station, I was planning to head up towards the church, but I saw a bus pulling up outside the station, so jumped on it. Here we go. So we're on route 134A. We're going to head up through Barnet Town Centre, right to the other end of the route. Probably what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to stay on this bus. I might jump out for a photo and then ride this one in the other direction, all the way back to Mill Hill. So we're just right now passing through Barnet Town Centre. Modern bus. We're now just turning into Chesterfield Road, which is the terminus for this bus route. So I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen if we're going to go round on a circular loop before we head back. Most people got off as we went through Barnet Town Centre. There's just a few people now upstairs in the bus. So, um, oh, there's a big, yeah, there's a big residential area. You can see a big green over there. So um, what will happen is if I get the chance I will get out. I hadn't actually planned to do this bit, I planned to get a bus in the other direction which would have been this bus but I think because it was slightly behind schedule, being 10 minutes behind schedule effectively made me able to catch it. So we're just coming up, I can see a normal service bus ahead which appears to have terminated here so we can see what happens and um, then we'll be heading back towards Finchley. So we've arrived at Muswell Hill Broadway, it's pretty busy here, that's the bus I was on, just gone round the circle, just going to head back in the opposite direction. So there's quite a lot of buses to choose from, you can get this map. Um, so I haven't quite decided where I'm going yet, I might go to Archway, I might go to Finsbury Park, um, I'm not sure yet. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to walk round this um, area here, there's, there's loads of other buses though, just, just you know, all the normal buses. It's been quite a pleasant journey through London, leafy suburbs of London and Northern Day. Look at this little one here. That's the 212, so that goes to Finsbury Park. Um, so it's working bus route 212. I wonder if I can get on that one. Where's he going? If he goes around there, well, no, I reckon he's come from Finsbury Park. I'll just let you see it for that week. No one on it. Might try and get that one. Haven't quite decided yet. Yeah, he's gone right round the whole circle. So I'm going to go and have a look, see which bus I'm going to go or, and where I'm going to go. Oh, I've just got on the bus we just saw go round the corner. I'm on the seat, that one seat at the back, which is above the wheel. So might be a bit of a bumpy ride, but we're now going to ride 
further towards central London to Finchbury Park. My plan is when we get to Finchbury Park to get on the Piccadilly line up to Southgate where I can pick up another bus. So I'm going to now enjoy the ride down the hill to Finchbury Park. It's not that easy to point it out, but just over there is the um, old railway line to Alexandra Palace. That'll have to be a video of the future. I intend to do that one day. We'll walk the old railway. This reminds me, this area, a bit of High Wycombe, though, in Buckinghamshire. You know, big hills, leafy streets. So, as I said, we're going down to Fiji Park. <laughs> Past another vintage bus heading the other way. This route down to Finchbury Park has the most frequent service there, approximately every 15 minutes. So we've just been through Crouch Hill Town Centre. We're coming up to now, we're going to go over the old railway which ran from Finchbury Park to Highgate. And again, I'll have to do that one in the future. I did once do it as a child and it was a very pleasant ride. It's quite funny if you look at all the people outside. I don't know if the camera really picks it out. It's a bit like when you go on a mainline steam train and you pass through a station, there are all sorts, all these really nice, surprise looking people to see these vintage buses, which is one thing I always particularly like about any form of you know, heritage transport, whether it's mainline steam or vintage buses. So I think we're just coming up to go over the old railway line now, and then further down we'll get to Crouch Hill Station, which is on the Goblin Line, the Gospel Oak to Barking Line. So we're just stopping at a stop right now. <laughs> Funny at the front of the bus it says smokers to occupy the rear seats. Usually on double decker bus, on the old ones it says smokers to occupy the upper deck. But of course today you can't smoke on buses, so it doesn't really matter where you sit as long as you don't smoke. So here we go. The other pulling away. We should go over the old railway. Here we are. This is the bridge now. I think you're not going to see much, but. That's it. That's the old railway line down there. Now we're going to go down towards Crouch Hill and then, as I said, Finchley Park. So we've just arrived at Morris Place, the bus stop for Finchley Park. There's a little bus we came on, so that'll be departing soon. If you're wondering where the railway line is, just there, it's the East Coast Main Line. So if we go across the road now, my plan is to walk up here a bit and see it go past funny, there's a picture of Flying Scotsman on a Lloyds advert, and of course Flying Scotsman and all the other A3s and A4s of the work, the East Coast Mainline, so didn't expect to see Flying Scotsman at Finchley Park today. Anyway, I'm going to hang around here and uh, see that bus come past, and I'm going to go to the station and get on the Piccadilly line up to Southgate, where I can pick up another London bus route. So as another bus heads back up towards Muswell Hill, as I said, my plan now is to get on the Piccadilly line from Finsbury Park Station, which is just round the corner here, and head up to Southgate where I can pick up another one of the routes. So if you're wondering what the, this whole event is in aid of, basically it's 30 years since 
Muswell Hill bus garage closed. So someone had the idea, let's bring back all the vintage buses and run some of the routes, which I think is a really nice idea. And all money raised from the event goes to the Poppy Appeal. So um, if you were to travel on the buses today, you're helping support a good cause. So it's very, very much worth coming to. It's been a very interesting day. I mean, it's not over yet. I've got quite a lot more to do. So what I'm gonna do now is, uh, as said, I'm heading towards the other end of Finsbury Park Station, just down here. I've been this way for a long time. And I'm not gonna say redeveloped it all. Anyway, I'm gonna go into Finsbury Park Station, get the big Z line Southgate. So here we are, we have arrived at Arnos Grove. I know I said it was going to Southgate, but the train I got on terminated here at Arnos Grove. But for while we're here, I'll have a quick look at the station building. You can just, I might just be able to see it up there, but let's go up and we'll have a look in the ticket office. The reason I say this is because this station has sort of featured in one of my videos before, but not in this form, as in, if you have a look at the link on screen now, you'll see a video called the London Underground smallest tube station and that's at Beckenscott Model Village because at Beckenscott Model Village there's a station called Hampton Road which is a model of this station, Arnos Grove. So let's just go up into the ticket hall and um, see inside. So this is the ticket hall of Arnos Grove, one of um, the finest Charles Hall and tube stations. What I'm going to do now though is uh, head back down onto the platform because of course this isn't where we're going to although some of the buses are actually going from here i want to get the bus from southgate so back down to the railway line on the tube again underground coming into southgate it's a bit of a funny station this one because obviously at arnos grove we were above ground and then we went over a viaduct over the valley of the Barnes Brook. And now we're underground again. So um, I've never actually got out of this station before, so this is what I would call a winning station. And I'm now walking towards the um, southbound line, but that's just to have a look. I can't, they say you can see light. I, I can't see it that way. Maybe if I went over, I could. I can see light at the end of the tunnel that way. So. This station is underground, but there's no other stations in this tunnel. So the tunnel isn't itself isn't actually that long. There goes our train. Again, without really leaning over, which I'm not going to do. I can't see any light at that end of the tunnel, but I certainly could on the other end. So, as I said, the plan is to get another bus from here. Now, the bus is at 14.31. And it's currently 14.29, so um, I hope the bus is running a bit late, because otherwise I'm, it's kind of not going to work. So we go through here, up the escalator, up here to Southgate Station, to the ticket hall at Southgate Station rather, and then we've got to try and find where this bus goes. As I said, I've never actually been to this station before. It's very, I do like this station, it's a bit quieter than, you know, your zone one deep level tube stations. It's also the most northerly tube station to be underground because you know, as I said it's quite far north but this part of North London as we experienced when we were on the buses is, is quite hilly and um, it's, it's quite scenic as well that section over the Primes book over that viaduct I really enjoyed that bit of it so we get to here and there's a few different exits um, let's just go out this one whether it's the right one or not I'm not sure I think it's not there we go so we're in another round ticket hall. Right, see if we can see any vintage buses. Take this off now for a moment. Um, I assume the vintage bus 
we'll go from here but um, as I said I hope it's a bit late or has it just gone that's quite an iconic place here though this Southgate station so I have always wanted to come here see a bit more London underground architecture let's have a wander around here see if we can find this but look at that there's a like how there's a concrete pot just in the brickwork uh, right one way when you come to a bus rally like this one way to get an idea is to look for the people who look like they're bus enthusiasts. I've noticed this around, um, they're standing there with cameras, so there's like this gentleman over there. I think they might be bus enthusiasts. What I'm going to do, I reckon the vintage bus is going to come from this way. So I'm going to hang around here. This, the station is effectively on a roundabout, um, so it makes quite an interesting station. But yeah, I do really like this bit of architecture. So I'm just going to stand here now and wait for this bus to come along. So we saw a bus go around the circle at Southgate and then what happened was that bus didn't pick up anyone which um, I'm not quite sure why and a few of the other people looked a bit surprised. Well I waited there for a while and got a bit bored so I started walking the bus route um, as with these things which I sort of do expect the buses end up a bit behind schedule. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of traffic so what I've done I've walked down and as I, of course, as soon as I start walking, 10 minutes into my walk, a bus goes past. So what I thought I'd do, I'll, I'll stand here on this side of the road and I'm just going to hang around at this bus stop here, a request stop. My plan is when the bus comes in that traditional fashion, I'm going to flag it down like that and get on it and ride it back to Muswell Hill. Anyway, that's the plan. Still vintage, just not quite as old as some of the others. Um, I do apologise for my lack of bus knowledge. As um, those of you who watch my videos regularly will know, I'm more of a railway enthusiast. Um, but I do really like buses. I just um, I don't really know one bus from another. I just like being upstairs or down to the single decker and just enjoying the ride. So we're now heading back to Muswell Hill. And when I get to Muswell Hill, I'm going to decide what to do next. Whether to go to Archway, just have a look really, but now I'm just going to enjoy what really is quite an attractive part of London. If you look here, we're just passing one of the parks now. This, what this idea has done, what this has done is given me some ideas of future adventures we could do. You know, walking various um, old rivers, some of the old railway lines we've crossed. It's um, an area of London I've not really explored because places like Muswell Hill, don't have a railway station so I've not really been to them but you know th this area here all looks very nice so that looks like that's probably an old manor house you know you can see you know scaffolding up on it so I, I know there are some around up here so yes yeah, these are all ideas for future videos so I'm just gonna stay on this bus back to Muswell Hill.
So, I've ended up at Victoria. That was really quite exciting, riding the vintage bus all the way through centre of London to here, Victoria. So most of the day was obviously up in the Muswell Hill area. There was a bus this morning, which I didn't get, left Pimlico at 9.50. Probably this one went up to Muswell Hill. So when I was on the bus and the previous one, the one from Southgate, and saw that behind me, I thought, yeah, that'd be great. I'll get on that. So that was a really exciting ride. Um, that's Victoria Station there where quite a lot of my adventures start when I go somewhere by train. So now we're back here, the bus dropped us off just over there. I got out and got a couple of pictures, so um, I didn't film the bus go, but I'll insert the pictures now. So there you go. So it's been a great day. I've really enjoyed it. Last bus rally I did like this was the Lost Village of Inn, but that was really good fun back in the summer, but just completely different to this bus rally. Of course, another place you can regularly ride buses in London is up at the Epping Ongar Railway. If you go on the central line to Epping, you can ride a bus to Northfield Station. There's various other bus routes. So, you know, riding vintage buses around London is something that's still very much possible. Um, and I've had a good time riding them, makes a change from trains, even I say that sometimes, but um, yeah, most of my events do tend to be on railways, hence finishing here at Victoria Station. So thank you very much for watching, um, it's been a really good day, so thank you to everyone who put it on, really enjoyed it. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment, and from Victoria, goodbye.